So this is the Australian Barmer hat. Uh, in particular, this is the Squishy Roo hat, which uh, is the soft leather made out of a uh, genuine kangaroo. So this is the skin of a kangaroo, basically, um, like your normal leathers. I went for the second to darkest colour, but I have just waterproofed it, and that's why it appears darker. Um, I can really recommend this hat because I picked this up in Australia and it saved me from getting sunburned all over my face. <laughs> but I'm not plugging it at all, I'm not sponsored at all. This is just my opinion and my review. Uh, so let's give a full review of this hat. The uh, nice thing about the Squishy, which is the soft leather roux hat, it's a bit more expensive than the normal ones, is that it folds up. What you do is just grab it in the middle, fold it like that, and then fold it in half. Now what comes with the hat is this brilliant bag. And this is the bag which is for storing it in when you like travel. And it packs down surprisingly small and uh, you can trust this, it lets it breathe and everything, but you can trust this to keep it safe in your backpack. But the worry was that it was too big and like I would certainly damage it by putting it away in my bag because I would want to take it off once in a while um, for traveling, like say you want to go traveling backpacking. And this hat, I can downright say it's amazing for traveling because you can just do this, put it in your backpack, folds up that small and that doesn't actually harm the leather at all. It's amazing because you can just go pow and there you go. But Barmer actually state if you actually put it in a suitcase or your luggage, um, you pack it flat like this. Like what I did, I packed it flat like that, built up my clothes around it to keep its shape and then fill it with your socks and stuff, socks and pants inside so it keeps its shape. And uh, your hat, these sorts of hats always go because you've mistreated it, folded it away, can't be bothered to look after it. But this is a hat you can just quickly fold it away properly. But they do say don't store it like that, obviously. Don't don't like keep it like that or else you'll bloody ruin your hat. Store it when you're not wearing it, like open and flat. Or on a hat hook, which I do. So it's fully foldable, which I rightly know. It's lightweight and I can agree it is very lightweight very very lightweight i would say it's probably only 300 to 400 grams if that's a thing but the one thing you need to remember is that anything with leather products especially um, soft leather it will dry out in the sun it will soak up the water if you get a good downpour uh, and when it dries out it's like your skin after a really long shower your skin will dry out. Um, you need to treat it, I would suggest about once a year with waterproofing wax and uh, it soaks into the leather and it sort of rejuvenates it. It's quite nice. I wanted one of these hats since I was young, you know, watching Indiana Jones and stuff. Even though this isn't the Indiana Jones hat, I prefer the style of this than to the genuine Pharaoh, Faro Indiana Jones hat. Um, because it's a bit like Crocodile Dundee, isn't it? It's like, oh yeah, a bit more adventurous. And it is genuine leather, kangaroo leather, um, because you. one of the features of having a kangaroo leather hat is that you get the skin of that kangaroo and it might have had, been having boxing fights or whatever with other kangaroos. Uh, mine has actually got a little, little scratch on it, but I just find that adds to the character of the hat. I quite like it. I never realised I was a hat person until I bought this. I love this. And it does give you full coverage of your face and neck from the sun at midday, which that is effectively what I bought it for when I was touring Australia. You see, there's the print inside, Barmer hat, and then there's the uh, genuine kangaroo stamp. If it doesn't have this, it's a fake. And don't, don't do it. Made in Australia. And Australia is the only official makers of kangaroo leather products because by law they're the only ones that can make kangaroo stuff. They can ship it out, they can ship it out but it has to be from Australia. In this hat it's got two air holes on either side uh, to keep your head cool. So inside this hat you have an elasticated rim 
uh, which is very, very ideal. And this was a big plus for me when I bought the cat. Because I've got quite a large head, <laughs> not gonna lie, um, it fits on like normal hats fit on, but when it gets windy, because I've had to have a bit of a, a larger fit, uh, they blow off. But the nice thing about the elasticated rim on the inside, it clings to your head, but very comfortably, and it gives you the best coverage all the way around. I've actually worn this hat in high winds on a canyon, and it stayed on my head pretty well. But then also, I got off a plane with a hat on, and the big gust of wind just came out of nowhere, and it wanted to take off. And now the guy in the store told me a trick to get around that, take the elasticated band and fold it on the outside. So it just gives it a bit of extra friction. And also get rid of your hair if you've got any hair. So the elasticated band actually goes right on your head. And I've tried it, it sort of does give a little bit of extra friction, but I find it's just all right with the, uh, the normal inside. But if there's a big gust of wind, just do that, <laughs> like at one time. But in constant high winds, it's fine. It's when it's like a big gust at one time, that's when it gets you. And if you're on a ship, you're gonna lose it if you're on a ship. But that's every hat. Now this hat, I thought it would come with those tassels that you tie around your chin, but no, that's not the style of this. I've seen people modify the hat where uh, they sew it on the inside here and here. And I actually thought about doing it, but then I would have tassels to get rid of when I'm not using because those tassels rub and the design of the hat is so you don't need the tassels, that it will just cling on and stay on. And remember to get that extra friction you just put your hair in and make sure the elasticated band is touching the skin on your forehead. That does, well that does it for me. But I find the hat does not get itchy at all. You know, sometimes you wear a cap, a baseball cap for quite a long time and it gets itchy around here and all you want to do is just take it off. Uh, but you can't because it's too sunny. This one, I can last, I've lasted in this all day and it hasn't given me an itch. I actually prefer to wear the hat. You can choose from different rim styles on the outside. Uh, so I went for the darker colour, obviously, um, and I went for this design around the, the rim. Uh, there's a couple, there's a couple to choose from. And then there's the tassels at the back which just fit in there. But the leather is so well treated and it's so soft and it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything like that. Now this hat in particular retails at about 50 English pounds. I put on screen uh, the conversions for dollars and Aussie dollars because I actually bought it in Aussie dollars and I can't fully remember how much I paid. This has been the Australian Barmer hat. Subscribe if you like these kit reviews because I am going to do a lot more of them on survival equipment, camping equipment. And uh, tune in next time to join the expedition. Thanks for watching. Whatever waterproofing wax you use, it is going to make your hat darker. Just bear that in mind, uh, but it will be waterproof, so I don't really care.